Six children in Gujarat have reportedly died from a suspected Chandipura virus infection within the past five days, with the total number of suspected cases now reaching 12, State Health Minister Rushikesh Badel said. The virus, which re-emerges annually during the rainy season, is transmitted by infected sand flies and predominantly affects children aged between 9 months and 14 years. Here are more details about the Chandibura virus, which was considered to be included in the 2017 list of priority diseases by the World Health Organization. What is Chandibura virus? Chandibura vesiculovirus, commonly referred to as Chandibura virus, CHPV, is a virus that belongs to the Raptoviridae family and was first identified in 1965 in the Chandibura district of Maharashtra, India. It's notorious for causing acute encephalitis, a severe inflammation of the brain, particularly in children. Causes of Chandibura vesiculovirus The Chandibura virus is primarily transmitted through the bites of sand flies, specifically those from the genus Plebodermus. When these infected sand flies bite humans, they inject the virus into the bloodstream. Though less common, the virus can also spread through contact with bodily fluids from an infected person or animal. The symptoms of the virus typically appear suddenly and can escalate rapidly. Some of the common symptoms include high fever, a rapid onset of high temperature, headache, intense and persistent headaches, vomiting, frequent vomiting which can lead to dehydration, seizures, sudden uncontrolled electrical disturbances in the brain, altered mental status, symptoms such as confusion, disorientation and behavioral changes. Coma. In severe cases, patients may fall into a coma given that the infection primarily affects children and can progress swiftly, early detection and treatment are crucial. Treatment of Chandibura vesiculovirus Currently, there is no specific antiviral treatment for Chandibura virus infection. The management of the disease focuses on symptomatic relief and supportive care. Some key treatment approaches include hospitalization, immediate medical attention in a hospital setting is often necessary, rehydration, intravenous fluids to prevent dehydration caused by vomiting and fever. Antibiotics, medications to reduce fever. Anticonvulsants, drugs to control seizures. Intensive care. In severe cases, patients may require intensive care support to manage complications. Prevention of Chandibura vesiculovirus. Preventing infection involves controlling the sand fly population and protecting individuals from bites. Key preventive measures include Insect repellents, applying repellents on exposed skin to ward off sand flies. Protective clothing, wearing long sleeved shirts and pants, especially in areas known to have sand flies. Insecticide treated nets, using nets treated with insecticide to prevent bites during sleep. Public health education. Raising awareness about a disease and its transmission methods to encourage preventive practices. While there is no specific treatment, early medical intervention and support care can significantly improve outcomes. Prevention through personal protective measures and environmental control remains the most effective strategy to combat this disease. 